All right. So I do want to introduce you to curve sketching. Curve sketching is kind of the end all and be all of all of these first three sections. If you can do curve sketching, you've pretty much mastered increasing, decreasing, extrema, uh, relative extrema, um, concave up, concave down, points of inflection. That being said, that means this is complex and a lot of work to do this. But this is the method of how functions were graphed after Newton and Leibniz created calculus and before we had graphing calculators to do all this work for us. Uh, it gives us accurate sketches of graphs. So the idea of this is, is we start by finding extrema. So we find the function values at the endpoints. We find our critical points. We determine where is my function increasing and decreasing and where and what the extrema are. So remember where means the x-coordinate, what means the y-coordinate. We then find our points of inflection. So find where my function is concave up, find where it's concave down. Identify where and what, the x and y of the points of inflection. Graph all of these different points and then connect them following, is it increasing concave up, increasing concave down, decreasing concave up, or decreasing concave down. So an example of curve sketching is if I want to go ahead and take the function I've been using here, x cubed minus 4x, and I want to sketch this. So we have some advantages in that we already know where is it increasing, decreasing. But I will take this from the beginning here. So I start with domain. I'm not told the domain, so this is a polynomial, which means my domain is all real numbers. I care about that because that means there are no endpoints. So I move on to my critical points for f, which means I need f prime of x. And I want to see where is this equal to 0, and where is this undefined. I know it's never undefined, and we already found in a previous example that this is 0 at plus or minus the square root of 4 thirds. And we, I then go ahead and make my sign chart. So here's f prime. Here's negative square root of 4 thirds. Here's positive square root of 4 thirds. And I said, I'm going to use a different color for f prime here. We said that with f prime, this was positive, negative, positive. I'm going to come back to talking about f because I'm going to talk about f all at once here. So then we moved on to, oops, come on. We move on to talk about concavity. So for concavity, I need the second derivative, which is 6x. And I want to know where is the second derivative equal to 0 or undefined. Well, 6x is never undefined. And 6x would equal 0 when x equals 0. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on the exact same sign chart that I'm already working on. So here's 0. And this is for f prime, double prime. If x is less than 0, f double prime was negative. If x is greater than 0, f double prime is positive. And what this now allows me to do is I can now go through this. I'll say, okay, here are the x's I care about. I care about f of negative square root of 4 thirds, f of 0, and f positive square root of 4 thirds. So f of negative 4 thirds, which, or negative square root of 4 thirds, which from f prime I can tell is a relative max. If I plug this in, I'm using my calculator here because I am feeling incredibly lazy. And I'm plugging this into the function is 3.079 f of 
positive square root of 4 thirds, which is a relative minimum from my sign chart. And again, plugging it into my function. So, whoops, sorry about that. Because I want to know where to where to graph those. So I know it. So negative square root of four thirds is about uh, negative one point one five, and then three point zero seven nine. So right around here is my relative max, my relative min. One point one zero five is right about here. And then f of 0, which is 0, this is a point of inflection. And in each of these regions, what I can say is now I need to sketch what's happened to the function between these points. So in this first region, I can see f is increasing, concave down. So I want it to be coming up, frowny face. I have a relative maximum, and then f prime is still positive, so increasing. Or I'm sorry, f prime is now negative, so decreasing, concave down. So going down, frowny face, and then I'm still decreasing, but now concave up, so going down, but smiley face, and then I am increasing concave up, so heading up, smiley face. And here is a relatively good sketch of x cubed minus 4x. I can then take this further and say, okay, what if, what can I now tell from given a graph of f prime? So I'm not going to sketch here, but I'm going to get all of the same information, um, specifically the where's. So from a graph of f prime, remember, this is really a sign chart for f prime. So critical point at 1, critical point at 6, and we have an end point here. Oops, shouldn't have those arrows. I have an end point at 0 and at 9, and critical point at 8. So I can see f prime goes from negative to positive to negative to positive. So I can say that my function is increasing from 0 to 1. I'm sorry, not from 0 to 1. That's decreasing from 0 to 1. Sorry about that. Decreasing 0 to 1. Increasing from 1 to 6. Decreasing 6 to 8. And increasing 8 to 9. Again, those are intervals that I'm writing. You could also have written them using inequalities. Uh, this means that I have a relative minimum at x equals 1. I have a relative maximum at 6, x equals 6. I have a relative minimum at x equals 8, but then I do have endpoints, so I do have extrema there. So at 0, my function's decreasing from the point at x equals 0, which means there's a relative max at x equals 0, and I'm increasing up to the point at x equals 9, so there's also a relative max at x equals 9. So again, if it helps, I can do a little sketch on here, down, up, down, up. Concavity-wise, I can still tell that information from my graph of f prime. So 0 to 9. But now the critical points I'm looking at is where is the slope of f prime changing? Because remember, the way I know that f prime is increasing, in other words, f is concave up, is where is f prime's slope positive? which means where's the second derivative positive. So I want to know where's the slope positive, where's the slope negative of this graph. So I, the critical points are where is the slope of this graph zero. So I have at two, I have at three, I have at five, 
and I have it 7. So from 0 to 2, f prime slope is positive. From 2 to 3, the slope is negative. From 3 to 5, positive. From 5 to 7, negative. And from 7 to 9, positive. So this means my function is concave up from 0 to 2, concave down from 2 to 3, concave up from 3 to 5, concave down from 5 to 7, and concave up from 7 to 9. And then my points of inflection are at where my concavity changes, so at x equals 2, x equals 3, x equals 5, and x equals 7. 